If you're a heat and nursing technician or even a salesperson, what does it mean to be zeroed out? Why does it matter? This is a fantastic question. I'm Scott Sullivan Bell coming to you live for HVAC Technician Sales Secrets on a perfect day to talk about sales and business and a fantastic day to talk about you. I'm coming to you live from Sacramento. I don't know why I whisper that. Sacramento. <laughs> hey, so uh, I'm going to borrow a term from the dating world. I, I believe I heard Rolo Tomasi or Marco, Michael Sartain talking about this. And it's an important conversation that uh, really needs to be addressed. So I want to give credit where credit's due. This is not my term. I'm 100% borrowing it, but it's relevant to the sales world. And zeroing out on the dating life means you've lost everything. You had the love of your life um, and something happened. You no longer have the love of your life. So emotionally, mentally, physically, you just spiral. Okay, that, that means to zero out. Well, here's the thing. If it happens in your personal life, it's probably going to happen in your business life. And in your business life, there's a lot of different ways that this could happen. And let's start at the very top. You own a company, and for whatever reason, things don't go well, market changes, bad decision, bad hires, all of the above, and your company spirals. Okay, that's one. Number two is you are a manager in a company, and you have a role in a position. For whatever reason, your position gets taken away and given to somebody else. Three, you are a salesperson, and uh, you just stop closing deals. And if for whatever reason, they just don't happen anymore. And it just, it, they're just not making, they're just not going, right? Or four, you could be out in the field doing some sort of work and nothing's working. Any one of those reasons could be a big zero, right? You can zero out in life. And uh, what this typically means is you stop working out, you stop eating healthy, you stop associating with friends and you start picking up bad bad habits, eating candy, eating foods that aren't so good for you, consuming lots of alcohol, consuming a lots of illicit materials. It's it's uh, the videos, so I'm just not going to name them off. Um, you start doing, you know, gambling. Uh, uh, there's a whole list of things that you could do that just cause you to spiral e even more. And so if this is you, I want to give you a list of things that you can do so that you can unzero out, so you can add back to your life. But before we do that, you should go to my email publication. Go to this URL right above my head. Uh, type it into a browser. Drop in your name, your email address, maybe a phone number. I'll give you the goods. Not in the Facebook group, not in the YouTube channel. There is a Facebook group. And so <clears throat> if, you, if you're if you on this path of zeroing out, one of the, the greatest things that you could do is remember that you do have a social bank, a social network of people to associate with. And we think, we, including me, because this has happened to me. This has happened to me a couple of times. Like, I, I'm ashamed to tell my friends. Like, you know, lost a significant other, can't close deals, lost a business. And so, like, you really do need to have good friends around you that will support you and say, hey, man, hey, dude, hey, chick, hey, brah, uh, <laughs> let's get you back in the game. Everything's going to be okay. I got, I got friends, plural, friends right now, today, going through something like this. They've zeroed out because of a relationship. They've zeroed out because of sales. They've zeroed out because of a business. They've zeroed out because of just bad decisions in life. And and so, like, it's okay. Like, be responsive. Like, when your friends call you and go, dude, chick, I'm in a bad place. I just need you to listen. And so, like, first and foremost, you got to have good people around you. Second, get in lots of exercise, right? Uh, as it sits right now, I've got a few extra pounds to lose, 100%. I'm working on it. Got my plan going, working out daily right? Number three, drink lots of water. Drink lots of water. Number four, laugh. Uh, get some stand-up comedy going, right? Like uh, there, there's nothing better in a downturn emotionally than getting some laughter in. And like, I'll tell you, sometimes it's hard. Like, especially if you've zeroed out, especially if you're like, I'm at rock bottom. I've hit rock bottom. Sometimes it's hard to want to laugh. I get it, right? Uh, so you, you've got uh, making sure that you're exercising, make sure you drink your water, staying away from the illicit activities, making sure that you laugh and then get some sleep, you know, make sure it, and make sure that you keep your social network. Uh, you know, I'll give you, I think it was Mar Michael Sartain or Roland Tomasi talked about this for dating, but I think that this is true for also, um, also for the business world. Uh, make sure to listen to some rock or some loud music. I'm pretty sure this was Roland, Rolo. I want to give the, the credit credits you once again listen to some loud rock get back get back into some heavy lifting get back into physical activity like all of these things really matter but your network matters on this more than you know 
your network of people to say, hey, look, here's what's going on. And if somebody can't support you in the downtime, they don't belong to be in your life in the uptime, okay? Just just the way it is. You know, uh, I have this belief. If somebody calls me at 2 o'clock in the morning and they're like, dude, I'm in trouble, I just need you to listen. If I'm up and I hear that phone call, I'll answer it. If it gets disrespected, I got to say, I'm like, that goes on my blacklist and that person gets banned. So, like, if it's you and you're struggling and you got, like, hey, I just need to reach out. I just need to talk to somebody. There's nothing wrong with that. And sometimes, bonus, you've got to get help from a, a therapist. Sometimes you got to get help from a doctor. Sometimes you got to get uh, things that you're just not going to have from sitting in a car, having a conversation with yourself. You know, there becomes a point in life where all of the things that you've been through, everything, the heartaches, the pains, the problems, the issues build up internally, and there's got to be some sort of of uh, release. And sometimes that comes from therapy and mental health and mental help. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Go go have those conversations. If you are at zero, stick in the game, right? I may have never met you. Never met you. May have never met you. But keep going, right? I believe in you. You can do this. If there's ups, there's downs. If there's downs, there's ups. Wherever there's a forward, there's a backwards. Wherever there's a backwards, there's a forwards, right? I, I believe that, like, when whenever there's a struggle, like, hey, like, if we keep moving forward and we put that dot on the horizon and we keep going, there's going to be a positive in the future, okay? You got this. Keep going. You got one of three things you can do from here. Just one of three. Find the subscribe button. Click on it. And every time I send out a video, you'll get an update. Two, hit follow. Three, share this video with a friend. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.